So, good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am Julia, I'm a professional ballet dancer and uh, I share moments of my life as a ballerina since a couple or maybe three months here on YouTube. So, welcome to this new vlog leading up to the world premiere of Novitsky and Dawson. So, tomorrow we have this world premiere which means Two pieces have been created for the Stuttgart Ballet. One is by Roman Novitsky and the other one is by David Dawson. Two brand new ballets created on us. I thought it would be fun and interesting to bring you along with me. Also, I think it will be a super nice memory for me to have. I will try my best to record as much as I can throughout today. Today is the general, 27th of June. Tomorrow is the premiere, 28th of June and I'll try my best uh, to get as many uh, clips of backstage of how we prepare and I have to concentrate also, so let's see. I hope you enjoy and um, yeah, come along. So I'm now going to the school, the John Cranko, where we will be taking class. It's a training, so a short training, 45 minutes. And then we have two hours of rehearsals, one hour for David's piece and one hour for Roman's. And, uh, ooh, and a special mention to my pretty bike. Here she is. So this is the John Granco School. It has two entrances. Uh, the company entrance is here, and the school entrance is up there on the other street. And yeah, it's a new building that opened at least three years ago. This is when I joined, and we already used it. So. Good morning, Fabio. <laughs> Come stiamo stamattina? <laughs> Lovely. You're the third one getting to the studio. Elisabetta was the first one, number one. Tutti italiani comunque. <laughs> Quote of the day. <laughs> Hi everybody! While I unpack my grocery shopping, which was very little, I just needed like some fresh fruits and bananas and vitamins and watermelon, first watermelon of the season. Uh, I'll explain how the morning went. The morning was okay, it was very efficient. Uh, I couldn't record much because we were working, working, working. We had received all the corrections from last night. Last night we also had a rehearsal with costumes and makeup and light and orchestra and most of the corrections I have to say came from the music which was quite surprisingly uneven and different so I think this is what we have to get settled on really listening to the music while we dance and really being aware that one day one conductor could play really slow and the other day Another conductor could play the same section just really quick. And it's really challenging. You really have to be in the moment, look at each other and hope for the best and hope that your body will react. But yeah, we're getting there. I think everything will be fine. So after tidying this up, I'll be preparing some lunch, some pasta probably. And I found those in Reve, yay! Italian biscuits, they're such a treat for me after dinner to have them, like a couple of them, more than a couple, because if you know Mulino Bianco biscuits, it's really hard. But anyway, you don't care about that, I think. So I'll just keep going. Hair done. Very basic makeup, ready to go. So. We'll do our makeup now. Point shoes are ready to go for David's piece. Kind of, yeah. And yeah, and we are gonna pancake our face now. <laughs> From point shoe to face. <laughs> My least favorite moment, the eyeliner. Okay, could have been worse. Anyway, we were just saying with Vito, you don't even see it under the lashes. So all for nothing. <laughs> Contouring is done. Amatorial makeup it's okay brushing the teeth now <laughs> allora pizza ciao hi hi these are the bags essential and ready to go 30 minutes 
Das ist zu dem Generalprobe. Generalprobe, Generalprobe. Lipstick is on. Ayara is here with us. These are the costumes for part two and part three of Roman's piece, Inferno and Purgatorio. <laughs> Big change into the second piece, going for a smoky eye. <laughs> Vito, you're my partner in crime. Hello. Hello. Ciao, Maya. Ciao, Simone. <laughs> We just finished the general rehearsal and now I'll be taking off all of this and going to eat something and rest. It's 9 o'clock. So I'm fixing my shoes for tomorrow while we snack a bit. It's not advertisement, by the way. And Vito is rolling. Stretching. Stretching. Otherwise tomorrow I can't walk. Yeah, muscles are tight. 9.45 and still beautiful light outside. Buonanotte! It's finally dinner time and likely I had a piece of quiche. Ecco! You guys are balancing on a plant pot. Anyway, I'm going to have some salad and yeah, I'll be just resting and actually choosing what I'm going to wear for tomorrow's premiere party. We have these premiere parties which are really cute at the end of the show. We will be partying and dancing and celebrating this world premiere tomorrow and yeah, and luckily on Saturday we're free. A ladybug! Cute! Actually not just one ladybug, but two ladybugs. I'm gonna let them out now. I think they're scared. So guys, the last thing before going to bed. Get ready. It might be weird, but what I'm going to do is dip my lovely galletto biscuit in water for a couple of seconds and then eat it. Let me know who agrees that biscuits are better this way. Me, yes. You can pick the softness, so if you want it very soggy, you have to keep it inside for longer. I think that's enough for me. Mmm. For me, this is just much better. Yeah, I really like it. Let me know if you try it and let me know if you like it. I just painted the shoes with these different tones and let's see how they turn up when they dry. Mamma mia guys, look at this. I'm going to be waiting a little bit before I go home with my bike because it's pouring so much rain. It's 3.30, I'm home and I'm going to have lunch quite late, but this is because I went to get some toy toy toys, I started writing the messages. The toy toy toys are the little gifts you give before a premiere and with those I like to give a little motivation message, a little loving message to the person that I'll be sharing the stage with. I decided to get these B12 plus vitamin D uh, vitamins that are supposed to give you energy. The package there is written Energizofort, 
So this is what we will be needing tonight. It's a very intense evening. The guys have so much lifting to do. We have so much dancing, running. Yeah, maybe those vitamins will give us some extra um, push. And I thought it was a cute idea. Anyway, I can say it now because by the time this vlog is ready, it's probably in a month. Um, and yeah, also some chocolates and some uh, isotonic drinks and things like that, depending on the dancer. And yeah, I think it'll be cute. Ready to go. Out here throughout the night in the back. Toy 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 is in the other one. And I have my lucky star with me. Gonna put it in my bag and see you in the theater. Perfect timing, arriving with Vittoria Girelli. <laughs> yeah. So welcome to our backstage. The stage is getting ready for Roman's Novitsky's piece. These are the coats we will be using in Inferno. And throughout the piece, we have these little TVs to check what's happening on stage and to exactly know when we have to enter and these boxes are for the quick changes here these are the grey pants for Purgatory and then Inferno outfit now I think they're cleaning the floor and yeah as you can see it's a shiny floor and they're lifting the frame that will be coming down for Inferno. The floor, it looks like water. It's so pretty. And here, this beautiful room with these beautiful people is the makeup department. Ole! Ciao, guys! And she's fixing a wig. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. People don't see this every day.
Ciao guys, good morning. Today is actually Monday. This is because on Saturday I didn't have any energies left to record uh, something. Also it was a super warm day so the body felt super lethargic and after a good night of sleep it was the day was dedicated to, to fueling the body, recovering, uh, staying with loved ones and just take some time especially knowing that the day after which it was yesterday on Sunday we had a double performance day because there wasn't enough time to prepare a second cast for Sunday we had to do first cast for both shows and some of us it meant that we dance four pieces so it was pretty intense but today I feel great it's much cooler outside I had a great night of sleep and I thought why not closing this vlog sharing some thoughts about this beautiful ballet evening i think it's a very special evening you have two pieces that stylistically they're very different they're very strong on their style and you can satisfy everyone out there because romance piece is very rich is divided in three parts you have paradiso purgatory and inferno and basically for the first cast is david moore going through this journey he represents kind of in an abstract way dante going through uh, paradiso purgatory and hell and it's a real journey lights are amazing the set is very minimalistic but it really transports you every movement in a different world with a different intention in paradiso there is more this sense of hope and joy then there is purgatory which is very mysterious and you're really not sure of what's going on and what goes on in david's head in the protagonist's head and the lights are amazing with there is fog on stage and we are appearing from the light and going to the shadow and to the light again and then it goes into the third and last part which is inferno which is more creepy and odd and unexpected and dark then it finishes with an epilogue which is the closing of the ballet and there is kind of a vague ending where the public can interpret it as they want it but it's more uplifting anyway if you come and watch it um you will know what i talk about and then the second part of the evening is um, Symphony No. 2 by Ezio Basso, choreography by David Dawson, Under the Trees Voices, and it transports you to a completely different place. And what I find so beautiful is that it's a ballet that is divided in five movements, and as the music goes, as the movements go, the set changes ever so little without you realizing and by the end of the ballet you're like wait a second this is a completely different world that i entered 40 45 minutes ago and now we're somewhere else it's an abstract ballet it's very pure very angelic it has been described i haven't watched it from the front unfortunately the music is stunning it has also there every movement has different flavors different emotions it brings you up different feelings. It starts in this first movement, it's, uh, it feels like you wake up from this post-apocalyptic situation, then things start to be born again and things start to keep going. And then there is a second movement, which is uh, quite powerful, but a bit dramatic. And then third movement, it's uh, more of an expression of joy. Then there is fourth, which is pure love and beauty and elegance and just peace. And then there is fifth movement, which is energy, vitality, hope. Yeah, it probably doesn't make any sense uh, without seeing the ballet, but it's really stunning. And for me, it was a real honor to dance next to uh, Friedman and next to Lisa, next to Anna, next to Jason, next to these people that are such um, important characters for Stuttgart Ballet 
and of course i was so grateful also to be in another creation by david dawson we have 10 more shows i'm looking forward to the journey of discovery and of connection with other dancers on stage yeah that was it we have more shows to go the double show was really tough but funny enough the second show went almost better than the first one and the energy level was high up if any uh, athletic uh, sport researcher out there is watching this video can you tell me why physically this is possible like why the second show i felt almost more energetic and more relaxed into it than the first show in the morning where i was more rested this i don't understand and i wasn't the only one feeling this way anyway i'll keep going on with my day chores to do birthday celebration in the evening and some other things to organize for my life but yeah i hope you liked it um come and watch us in the theater and uh, see you next time and subscribe i should say this also apparently Ciao!